y'all, welcome to Ollie's Garage. Today I'm gonna to be replacing the clutch cable on my 1984 VW Rabbit convertible. This procedure is gonna be very similar for all Mark I and Mark II VWs. Clutch cables are one of those items that wear out over time and they can break. I've had them break on me during driving. These cables have a sheath inside that prevents the cable from wearing on the metal housing. And after a couple 10,000 miles, that sheath can start to wear through. And then you have metal on metal contact occurring, which actually makes your clutch feel really stiff. So in this vehicle, I'm starting to feel that the clutch is getting a little bit stiffer, and I'm going to immediately replace this clutch cable. You do not want to drive around with a stiff clutch or due to your cable in these vehicles, because you will actually cause the pedal cluster to break really easily. The pedal clusters in these specifically with the clutch are already a weak component, so we don't want to drive around with a stiff cable to break it even more quickly. Stay tuned. Tools and parts for this repair, it's rather straightforward. Just some grease, 13 millimeter, an adjustable wrench, clutch cable obviously, and then some of these rubber components. There are some rubber components that I don't have pictured right here, and as you can see in this picture, they are between where the clutch cable mounts to the transmission lever. As always, I will include part numbers in the description and some links as well. We're gonna start off by loosening our adjuster right here. You can screw it in just a little bit to give you some free play. To remove this cable, lift up on the lever a little bit. We just bought ourselves a lot of free play and then we have to push over a metal piece that's in the bottom here. That's a little metal piece that we have to slide out from there. Then just one more metal piece. And then this rubber grommet, which I'll just leave in there. We can continue removing the clutch cable, just simply slide it up and out of here. All right, inside the vehicle, I'm gonna push my clutch. If you look right back up there, you can see the piece moving and that yellowish part, that's the clutch cable on that we just have to unhook. It's really simple just to unhook right there. Just reach up and unhook it. And now just pull the clutch cable out of the firewall. If this end gets stuck inside, just have a helper push the clutch a little bit because sometimes that'll help free up this end a little bit. This is the clutch cable that I just removed. As you can see, it was pretty kinked right here. And then if you pull on it, if you listen carefully, you can hear that there's some metal on metal contact occurring in here, which means that this was actually probably a little bit on the overdue side. Closer inspection reveals it still says West Germany on it and a VW part number, which uh, indicates that this is most likely the original cable. West Germany obviously hasn't existed since 1989. Always make sure to compare your old clutch cable to your new one. As you can see, my old one was maybe just a tad longer, but the new one will be just fine. Grease both ends of your clutch cable. For that, I'm using this silicone grease. Grab a little dab, mainly just this area right here. On the other end, we're gonna grease this area right here where the clutch pedal slides in and pulls on it and moves. We can grab this rubber piece, grease it as well just a little bit to make it slide on more easily. Slide it onto the cable. Grab your cable and I'm gonna reroute it the same way that was run before. and then straight into the firewall. Grab this little rubber piece, make sure that the square end is on the bottom and the round end is on the top. Lay it on this clutch cable mount right here. We can grab the end of the cable, carefully push it through there. Make sure it goes through the bottom here. Snap that grommet into place. Underneath the vehicle on the driver's side here, you can see the clutch cable slipping in and then the bracket that it needs to go into. You just need to simply pull it out on the clutch cable a little bit and hook it into that bracket on the top of this clutch lever. It was really hard to film connecting it, but here you can see it's connected. Just takes a little bit of wiggling. The diagram on the top left shows how these cable retaining brackets work, but it's actually not very clear. So it's very simple. This one is on the bottom. Make sure that the concave end is facing up like this. 
So have the indented end facing down. Then on top of that, you will lay this piece. And then on top of that is the rubber piece. My rubber piece, like I said, I didn't have a replacement handy right now. So it's still down there in my transmission lever. With the clutch cable connected in the vehicle, we now have to pull up on this clutch lever on the transmission. If you don't have a helper to help hold it, a good tip is you can use a bungee. Just pull up on it all the way and then secure it somewhere in the engine bay. Now it's just a matter of taking this cable, pushing it through there, taking this metal piece, sliding it on, and then taking this piece and sliding it on. With both of these on, hold them. We don't just want to let them fall down because they might get in the wrong orientation. Undo your bungee cord. And slowly apply tension on them. I'm gonna adjust this grommet here a little bit. Right here you can see the rubber grommet is kind of covering part of the selector shaft cover and you actually don't wanna do that. So just take this and carefully push it up above there. And finally, we have to adjust the clutch free play with this adjustment right here, and this is the locking nut for it. I have a video on that which I'll link, but I'll give you a really quick rundown here. Pull up on the cable. Basically, you wanna have only 12 millimeters between this white plastic piece here and this transmission mount. So, I have obviously a lot more than that, so I'll start screwing down on it. I've got my high quality caliper here to measure. As I'm pulling up on the cable, I wanna have no more than 12 millimeters of room. All right, it's about a little more than 12 up here. It's about 12 in the middle and it's cocked. So I'm assuming that that's right about 12 all around. Finally, tighten this hold down bolt to four Newton meters, which is basically nothing. So I'm just gonna snug it up. All right, that's pretty good. This locking nut is just making sure that this plastic piece isn't getting adjusted on these threads at all. So you don't really need to make it tight at all. Now all that's left is to take it for a spin and enjoy the feeling of a nice new clutch cable. Also, while you're at it, make sure you buy two of them and keep one in your trunk in case it starts going out again or if it breaks on you while you're driving.